Hey everybody, how's it going? This is a Yellow Mustang here again with another Roblox scripting tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be going over for loops, um, how how it works. I mean, they're they're pretty they're pretty simple. So I mean, it's it's going to be a, a pretty quick video. So so for a for loop, obviously you start by typing four and uh, your index, right? So your index can start at any number. It, it doesn't matter what your index starts at. Your index can start at 10, it can start at 5, it can start at 0, it can start at 1. Usually on Roblox, the index starts at 1, so we'll just keep it at 1 for now. We'll change it later. Um, and I'll, I'll explain I'll explain more in a minute here about that. So anyways, so, and then the next number, so you put a comma there. The next number is going to be how many times the loop actually goes through, right? So we're going to do print i. So this is going to run through. 10 times because I wrote 10 here. If I wrote 100, go through 100 times, it's going to print I for each one, okay? So we're going to run this in the workspace. We've got 10, 10 numbers down here, okay? Because the loop ran through 10 times, it's printing I. So each time the index gets a little bit bigger, right? Because it increases by one by default. So yeah, let's talk about the increments now. So with a default for loop like this, each time I is going to be increased by one unless otherwise specified, right? So to change the increment, say you don't want to go up by one, say you want to go up by, you know, 0 0.5. So now this is going to run through twice as much because it's going to go up, increase, I is going to increase by 0 0.5 each t each iteration here and until it gets to 10 it's not gonna stop alright so let's let's run this now and see uh, how many times this this runs through okay so you can use you can see 1 1.5 etc etc that's all that's all great okay so so now we got the basics down so let's, let's write this down right so we don't forget so I is the index and let's just go ahead and, and show show the formatting here. So so index, all right? What it starts at, and then we're gonna do the uh, the goal and increment, or maybe it's with an A. I don't know. I'm bad at spelling. I just I just write programming. I don't have to spell. So so anyway, so let's let's go over I more. So if you wanted to start like if you want to do like a countdown or something for your game, you can change I to a hundred. Change this to one. So I is going to start at 100. Our goal is going to be, let's not do one, let's start at zero, right? And then we can actually change the increment. You can change the increment to be negative. It doesn't matter. So, and then we can add like even a weight to it for an I and we can do, you know, we can make some 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 uh, typing in the game, some words, you know, let's, the, the round begins in I, okay? So it's gonna give you um, a countdown for each one. So let's just wait actually a little bit. So we'll do one second each each iteration here. So it's going to run through a um, hundred times. It's going to subtract i by one each time until it gets to zero because zero is our goal. This is the increment even though it's negative it, it is still going to go go run through there. So let's let's take a look and see what happens down here in the console. Uh, oh the round's going to begin in 97 seconds. As you can see 96, 95, 94 Extractor. It's going to keep counting down. Very simple, right? So that's that's basically it for uh, four loops. Just remember remember the golden rules. You know you don't have to use I uh, in your in your loops. You can use A. Even you know just change this to A. It doesn't matter. But most people use I because I stands for index. It's kind of like across the board in terms of programming. All all languages you know are pretty similar. But uh, I is just it's good to use. It's just, best practices right so just remember I is the index um, comma the goal is uh, whatever you want it to be and then the next one over is um, increment so um, if you guys need more help with for loops let me know right in the comments you know and I'll, I'll I'll do some more just ask the questions you know I'll include the code of this code I just wrote in the uh, description if you want to copy it you know change it mess around with it for yourself uh, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, that's it